Hi, I'm Josh Lovelace, Assemblies of God Missionary, Southeast Asia, Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Just want to send greetings to the staff, faculty, and students, Evangel University, Springfield, Missouri, my hometown. Just wanted to do a quick video here about some of the culture we have in Cambodia, especially as it relates to Buddhism. And today is a special day on the Buddhist calendar. They usually have four holy days each month. This one is called Tengai Sal, and basically people will come, listen to the monks and their teaching, make offerings. So I'm going to make just a quick stroll here around the uh, temple, the pagoda, and uh, show a little bit of a video of what's happening. And then after that, just do a little bit of explanation so you can kind of uh, get a feel for the culture here. So walk with me as we go here. This is a temple not too far from our house. You notice I'm being a good citizen, donning my mask here. Thankfully, COVID's not been bad, but just being safe. So a lot of times you have just a lot of the older people who come since today's a Friday and it's a working day so sometimes people will come later in the day but generally the majority of people who come are the older people the ones who have time and free time to come over make offerings and listen to the Buddhist monks and their teaching here's just a perspective on the inside again here you can see inside So let me come out here in the courtyard and uh, just do a little bit of explanation about the thing I sell about the uh, holy day and the significance of it. So like I said, basically on the Buddhist calendar you've got uh, four, four days each month that coincide with the, uh, the lunar cycle. And uh, so Tengai Sel is basically a day where people come together and uh, they will uh, pay respects to the monks. That's a big part of the uh, Buddhist culture with the monkhood, the song, or the pre song as they call them. And then also, a uh, second part is doing it in memory of family members. So being a uh, faithful son or daughter to your parents, but also your grandparents, paying a respect to them, and also uh, providing merit for them. And then the third aspect is uh, basically merit for yourself, more of a uh, kind of a self-betterment uh, process as you work your way in getting more merit in life. And uh, you could see inside the temple the, there was a monk inside, an elder monk he was teaching. And uh, generally on Tengai Sel, some of the points that they teach about, they teach about the history, and then they also will go through some of the Buddha's life and the history of that. And then uh, also talk about discipline, something with the, uh, the Four Noble Truths and also the, uh, the Noble uh, Eightfold Path, talking about the different ways and doctrine that they follow uh, in Buddhism. But then also a third point that they teach about is reaching a state of nothingness. You know, a lot of times people hear about nirvana, basically this state of bliss and complete contentment, but ultimately they're trying to reach a state of nothingness. You think of like a, uh, a flower, if you pick it up and blow it and you see the spores just kind of spread into being nothing, that's kind of what they're striving towards. So as they listen to history, talking about discipline, ultimately they're trying to get to this place of uh, nothingness and they do that in uh, listening to the teaching and also paying respects, giving merit to family members and getting merit for themselves. And uh, as the monk was teaching, uh, they call it toa, 
and basically it's even though if he's teaching in the Pali language that they don't speak here in Cambodia as long as they sit and listen it gives them more merit and more betterment in themselves but also something they can pass on toward others so that's just uh, one of the holy days we have here in Cambodia Tengai Sel and uh, we just want to say uh, greetings once again to Evangel University and to the uh, staff, faculty, and students and for their involvement here in Southeast Asia. We just appreciate their heart for missions and their heart for what we're doing. So thanks so much for uh, watching this and uh, keep us in your prayers as we uh, serve and work among the uh, Khmer people. Thanks so much. God bless.